What's going on? Uh, day two. Not much more comfortable, actually, at this rate. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is these shirts worth it. Uh, newism started off for me back in about 2007, and I started stitching on shirts, and that started actually. Uh, the idea came from when I was hanging out with my friend Karen in about 2001, 2002. She used to do some interesting stitches to to mend, you know, rips on her shirts and stuff and, and her pants. And, and I loved that idea. And she gave me a few of the, the piece of clothing. I remember specifically a pair of pants that I wish I still had. Um, but anyway, so that transcended when I went traveling uh, to Central and South America uh, every time I'd have a piece of clothing that I loved that I would wear all the time I would just stitch them and then when I got back in like 2005 uh, I had a couple t-shirts that I really liked and they were comfortable you know like a Hanes shirt that I was washing that began to feel really you know amazing and uh, I put a couple stitches in it and I still have that shirt actually today it looked like it was in the front, and it looked like um, it was black. And people thought I was wearing it backwards, or they were like, oh, you've got something on your shirt. And I just like to kind of accentuate the, the shirt a little bit. So that grew into other things. I put, like, some hearts on the stuff. I think this is, oh, this is just actually really painted. But So I decided to do this on the shirt. Worth it. So when I look in the mirror, I can read it. It doesn't look that way when you look at first appearance. People look at it and they're like, what's that say? Basically, it's to remind me of myself and my own self-value and my own self-worth. It's something that I've struggled with my whole life. And uh, it's gotten easier over the years. And But still, you know, I have a, tend to have a built-in forgetter. I forget my value. I forget my purpose. I forget uh, a lot of things. And, you know, uh, so this shirt was a way to kind of um, remind myself. And that's where newisms, that is how and why I started newisms. And the ism, my friend uh, Jenny, when I was sitting with her trying to think of company names or whatever, uh, you know, like I said yesterday, an ism is an ideology or a theory. But she's really smart and she was like, it also stands for I stitch mad shirts. Because that's what I was doing. I was just sitting at home at my house much of 2000 seven and eight just stitching and stitching all different designs on shirts and I have a, a lot of different shirts that I've made and I have like a bag of 75 different samples of shirts and I never launched the company because the economy fell out and I wanted to save it and not as they say burn your brand you know so I kind of put it aside and, and eventually started painting and and that's that's where a lot of like my uh, the words and stuff like that come back into my painting if you look at you know if you look through my site or some of my uh, work I have like prose and, and, and some poetry and stuff like that or I have isms within that you know and you know what's your ism what is it that you want to reinvent you know for me I want to reinvent everything in myself uh, I have over the years and I've finally become more confident in who I am and want to be the person that I am today rather than trying to be somebody that I'm not it's taken me you know, a, a really long time to to want to be myself rather than continually striving to be this person or that person or thinking I need to be this way or that way or please this person or that person. And I forget that sometimes and I, um, yeah, like I lose focus and I think, oh, I need to try to please that person or say what this person thinks think what they want to say and I'm not in this moment so I think that's about it for right now so well <clears throat> what I was going to say <laughs> I'm going to relaunch some of this I'm going to sell newisms t-shirts um, and continue to paint um, these are stitched I have right now I have a handful of shirts that I've stitched already and I'll put them available on the site there are a limited number. Some are unisex and some are female cuts. Um, so they're all form fitting. They're alternative apparel. Uh, they're hand stitched by me in my little sweatshop here in my studio. 
um, and um, they're going to be $100, uh, tax, including tax and shipping. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, rock on.